celebrating 19 years of development of human resources in the field of biosciences, the School of Biotechnology and Bioinformatics has become a name to reckon with on the global landscape. The school prospers under the visionary leadership of Professor Devjani Das Gupta, a brilliant researcher and educationist, tutored and trained at premium organizations in India and the United States with a specialization in biochemistry and its applications in cancer biology. With an experience of nearly four decades in academia and research, Professor Devjani has been instrumental in shaping young minds and perspective building for scholars of higher education. Good morning, ma'am. Ma'am, biotechnology is a relatively blooming field right now. We have, a, we have a lot of questions in mind, some curious, some truly mind-boggling. So we thought, who better than the director of D.Y. Patel School of Biotechnology and Bioinformatics itself to answer these for us? Could we please proceed with the question? Yes. yes. Ma'am, being an educationist, do you think that the outlook towards education needs amends? Do you think the ideology of a student, the ideology of a teacher, the ideology of a parent, do they conflict at any point? Yes, certainly, you know, everything needs a change. The mindset of every individual towards education needs to change. Education is now perceived currently as a three-year or a four-year degree and that's the end of it. But it is not so. What should change is the attitude towards lifelong learning. You know, there are unprecedented challenges in the job market because of uh, artificial intelligence coming in, machine learning coming in and technology will see a sea change and therefore things need to change. So ma'am, would you like to tell us what you think are the lacunae in the education system presently? Yes, there is a big lacuna in our education. The most important thing is we don't teach our students how to think. We tell them what to think. But that does not create original thinkers. It's very theory-based education. It has to be more practical, problem-solving. Then you can identify problems of society and solve them. With an institutional infrastructure, the 12-storied school building houses an impressive number of 28 regular and specialized laboratories, 15 fully equipped large-capacity classrooms, a computer center, an under-the-roof state-of-the-art seminar hall, teaching and research library, a greenhouse and cafeteria as monumental student amenities. The Central Instrumentation Laboratory of the school has an architecture to hold advanced analytical equipment facilitating regular practical training and experimentation as well as specialized research. Projects and research work in frontier areas of biotechnology is enabled through the instrumental setup that includes the high-performance liquid chromatography, gas chromatography and the atomic absorption spectrophotometer units. The Animal Tissue Culture Laboratory is a complete setup for routine culture and maintenance of normal and transformed cell lines. The facility supports DNA amplification and separation and cryopreservation of cell lines in liquid nitrogen. The Cell Culture and Incubation Laboratory is specialized for media preparation, culturing, profiling and incubation of animal cell lines. The design and setup of the Plant Tissue Culture Laboratory meets the recommended standards ensuring efficient functioning and experimentation. The main inoculation room with laminar flow cabinets allows for the culturing of various types of plants. The major infrastructural component of the Plant Tissue Culture Laboratory is the large capacity growth room with controlled light and temperature conditions. The greenhouse accommodates the West End grounds of the campus. High-end technology has been adopted at the facility to manage plant growth conditions using the fan pad evaporative cooling system with a digital display for the setting of physical parameters. The overhead sprinklers provide an ideal watering system for the transplanted plants. The greenhouse is predominantly used as a hardening facility for tissue cultured plants. The school houses an impressive bioinformatics setup facilitating training and research in biological data analysis. 
there is a large collection of software packages like Gromax, Accelerus, Discovery Studio, SPSS, MATLAB and more for data mining and analysis. The lab has more than 130 systems capable of handling protein modeling, docking, protein simulations and metagenomic analysis. The Food Science and Technology section maintains well-equipped laboratories dedicated to food processing and food analysis. The facility supports analysis of chemical, physical and biological properties, food preservation, food processing, packaging and unit operational techniques. The labs are engaged in various consultancy projects for food industries as well as research on new product development. Research has always been a distinctive and forefront feature of the school. High quality research and product development projects are undertaken through the postgraduate and doctoral programs resulting in an impressive number of research publications every year. Supporting all this research output in supplementation to the central instrumentation facility is the Molecular Biology Laboratory situated on the 10th floor. With an ideal ambience and an advanced collection and services, the library of the school provides a fulfilling experience and is the most frequented site on the campus. Secluded seating booths, appropriate lighting and well-ventilated spaces make for a comfortable and meditative environment. Online access to the collection is available through the online public access catalogue developed by the school. Establishing a constant connect with trends and advancements in biosciences, the school regularly conducts seminars, expert talks, industry academia meets and technical fests at the distinctively equipped Smart Seminar Hall. With demanding offline schedules and the fast-paced operation of today's generation, a facility to grab a quick bite while still scoring on the nutritional mandates is the most sought-after campus amenity. A congregation of diverse cultures, a spirited student community, a diversely expert faculty, and an impressively designed infrastructure makes the School of Biotechnology and Bioinformatics a single destination to world-class training and higher education in biosciences. We are an embodiment of innovation and dynamism. Join hands with this community of leaders, dreamers, optimists and visionaries and explore your future here. Moving on to a little more specificity, what exactly is biotechnology? Well, biotechnology is the basic understanding of molecular machines. Just as we have electrical machines, mechanical machines, we have molecular machines which build up your cell. And we develop technologies to re-engineer, re-transform these molecular machines to bring sustainability in the tissues. What is the industrial scope of biotechnology? Well, you see, this is the golden age of biotechnology or the century of biotechnology. And any industry which is involved in providing biosolutions and innovative solutions for sustainability in the healthcare, food, and the pharmaceutical sector in the th therapeutic sector does biotechnology. And India is now a big market and a center for biotechnology. So, ma'am, what is bioinformatics? Yes, with the unraveling of the human genome, bioinformatics was cat catapulted into prominence and it is the shaper now of medicine and therapeutics. You know, it is a field in which biology and algorithms play an equal role in solving many, many analysis problems of humongous biological data. Ma'am, what is the industrial scope of bioinformatics? See, bioinformatics is basically about unraveling genomes and understanding them well. And they support the biotech industry and provide, you know, solutions for any problems that uh, deal with the proteome and the genome of the cell. Ma'am, could you give us a compare and contrast between biotechnology, pharmaceuticals and medicine? Yes, interesting. Uh, the era of blockbuster medicines and drugs is over. Now there is a completely shift 
towards personalized medicine. In the West, it has started already. Precision medicine, predictive medicine, preventive medicine. This a doctor cannot do. Only a biotechnologist and a bioinformatician will be able to get into this era and new the future of medicine and therapeutics. Some say biotechnology is unethical and it exploits natural resources. What are your views on this? Some say nuclear technology is unethical. Every technology, some say AI, artificial intelligence is unethical and should not be developed. Biotechnology is the only technology which can enhance natural resources, which can preserve natural resources and hence should be used responsibly and ethically. Ma'am, what is the position of India in international scenario in the terms of development in biotechnology? Well, India is amongst the top 12 destinations globally for biotechnology and bioinformatics and amongst the first three destinations in the Asia-Pacific region. So biotechnology is going to be about a 5 trillion industry by 2024. We are the largest max vaccine producers in the world. And in the bioservice industry, there is a 760 crores industry developing. So there is a lot of optimism for India in the biotechnology sector. Ma'am, can you give us an insight on what biotechnology holds for the planet in the near future? Biotechnology along with other technologies such as information technology, along with artificial intelligence and machine learning, uh, will create all the answers and the innovation for the future for the planet Earth. Hey guys, everyone wants to become doctor in order for humanity, kindness and all other things. But unko kaun support kar raha hai, ye to nahi hai. Exactly. I am a future bioinformatics and data scientist. So this is what we do, exactly. We develop structures in drug designs and much more. 